Okay, quick and simple recipe for some eyeliner pencils this week using the following formula for a 20 gram batch. To make these you'll need 53% 10.6 grams of castor oil, 6% or 1.2 grams of jojoba oil, 9% or 1.8 grams of carnauba wax, 12% or 2.4 grams of candelilla wax. Um, this actually makes quite a soft pencil. If you prefer a harder eyeliner pencil, then just substitute all of the wax percentage for the carnauba or beeswax. Next is stearic acid, which is our thickener and also will help to bind the product. For colour, I'm using black iron oxide. And then vitamin E as our antioxidant. Put your stearic acid in one beaker and your oils and waxes in another. This lets the stearic acid melt down uh, without crystallising. And then just pop them in a water bath and heat gently until both the stearic acid and your oil and wax mixture have melted. When everything's melted, take off the heat and pour your oil and wax mixture into your stearic acid and mix well. Then add your iron oxide pigment. It's a good idea to grind this beforehand to make sure that it's not gritty. Mix it well so it's fully incorporated. Once the mixture is cooled to 40 degrees C, you can add your vitamin E and mix well. Now, while the mixture is still liquid, you take a syringe and draw up as much as you can. And taking your empty pencils, Go from the end and just push the liquid in until you see it come out the other end and then lay it flat to set. And then just repeat this until you run out of mixture. You can reheat the mixture a little bit if it starts getting too hard, but make sure you don't heat above 40 degrees C or you'll lose the benefits of the vitamin E. Leave these to set, uh, preferably overnight, or you can stick them in the fridge. Um, I've made quite a soft recipe here, so if you prefer it a bit harder, um, then take out the candelilla wax and use all carnauba or beeswax instead, if you don't mind it not being vegan. Um, this is where it goes a bit wrong, because I've never in my life been able to sharpen pencils properly, um, but I've done them well enough for you to see them working at least. I'm sure you'll have better luck than me. Subscribe to the channel so you don't miss more makeup recipes and you can also subscribe to our Patreon where you get exclusive recipe content and business support. See you next time.